Hi, and a great morning to all of you that are listening to me today. Um, it's beautiful out there. I keep reading all these weather reports. Um, I'm in the UK around all this snow and blizzards and things. And every time I look out the window, the sun is shining. Admittedly, it's very cold out there. So um, I'm in here in the warm talking to you. And today um, I wanted to talk to you about fear. Now, those of you that listen to me on a regular basis will have heard about my transition within my business from moving from the traditional business method to a a gift giving economy method in which for me there's an equality of access to to what I do and this led to me you know really sort of having a chat with the universe which I do a lot so I'm often having my chats with the universe and and I was been reading some amazing books around this whole gift giving thing and fear and um, economy and struggling. I have to say I struggled with a lot of the um, wording. It, it seems to me that when people talk about these things, sometimes it becomes very academic, which which I fully understand and very um, specialised. Or people tend to think of it as a, a hippie type um, sort of look on the world, you know, let's all be free, and let's all give it away. And and I was talking to the universe about this. And to be fair, you, you can, you know, alter the word universe to your God, to spirit, to whoever you want. But for me, I was talking to universe. And and it, it occurred to me that so much of the world and what's in it is creates a fear, a real fear of losing something. We, we all live in this very negative aspect of life. We, we fear we will not have any money. We fear we will lose what we do have. We fear that we aren't like everyone else. We fear that we um, will fail in some way, all sorts of things. If you, you think about it, so much of our lives are based on on fear. And, you know, we look at the world today and, and you know, there are so many religious factions that seem, you know, bent on destroying anybody who thinks differently to the way they do. And we all fear you know, the ramifications of this, because, you know, who knows who's next, who knows when a bomb's going to go off, who knows who's going to be kidnapped. Yet, I s suspect that those people, those radicals within those religions are filled with fear themselves, fear that people don't listen to them, fear that they'll, will somehow disappoint whatever God that they believe in, if they do, fear that the world is changing and they can't change with it. And we have youngsters going abroad to join these radicalized movements because they fear they don't fit anywhere and they, they want to fit. And, and it got me thinking that actually this is about fear. And before I changed my, and it will all, <laughs> come together I promise this rambling it, it was about you know I changed my business outlook from commercial sort of money in my hand to this new gift sort of giving economy and and I felt a lot of that fear disappear because suddenly I didn't have to fear that I wasn't successful because I didn't have loads of noughts after a number and loads of money in the bank and a million clients on my list and a and all this going on. And, and I realised that in business, we also fear that we won't make it. We won't have enough money. We won't be successful. We won't be well known. We won't be this. We won't be that. Our whole lives, to a degree, are built on what we won't be. And and I want you to, to sort of think about your life and, and how often you may think about the fear of what you won't have or you won't be or you won't get rather than the joy and the absolute praise in just being you and knowing what you do have and and what you can give and how you can grow and be a part of this great universe that we are in. 
Because if we removed the fear, if we could all remove that fear, if radicalists could remove the fear that, you know, people aren't going to believe in them, then they don't go have sorry, they don't have to go around beheading people because they're not following the rules. If they didn't fear their God so much, they wouldn't be afraid of the retribution or not getting into heaven. If business people weren't so afraid of not making so much money, they would be able to give their gifts and their talents to the world. If we all had enough of what we needed I'm not so sure we would all have to run around fearing that we didn't have what we wanted, if that makes any sense. It certainly does to me. And and this, this conversation I was having with the universe, I was saying, oh, it sounds lovely. We would all love to do that. But, you know, we live in, in a world at the moment that is, is full of people who living in isolation just trying to keep up with each other and keep up with everything that's happening in the world and, and certainly a change this is not something you can um, create or or make happen it, it will happen slowly as more individuals begin to understand that it is only by us changing the way we think and changing the sense in our lives that it will slowly creep around the rest of the world and people will begin to lose the fear and live with the joy of what they have today. And in that way, we can hope that we will willingly give to starving people. We will willingly share with poorer countries. We will willingly allow those that can lead to lead without the fear that power will take over. And I'm convinced that those people that, that need that power, that demand that power, are just people that are too frightened to be the other person. And for some, it's all or nothing, power or nothing. And, and I wanted to share that with you because the universe is very clear on this new way forward and that it will only happen one change of thought at a time. We can't force it, we can't make it happen, we can't have a revolution, we can't take guns to people, we cannot force people to think the way we think because that just reinforces the fear we have of life. So I want you to think on that and I, I would love you to just think actually those things I fear, why do I fear them and can I change that fear to say thank you and be grateful for what I actually have and for me, changing my business model does not mean for a second that I devalue what I do or what I have. It doesn't make me fear that people will will take advantage and take what I want and just hand me, you know, a pound here or there or, or decide that their value on me is different. I don't fear that because I know my own value. I have let go of the fear in that if I put the energy out there, those people who want to work with me with that same type of energy, we will find each other. Like attracts like in the universe and those of us that understand the whole metaphysics will understand that my energy will create that energy of people working with me. Um, I'm not going to work with everybody. There will be people I, I meet and I will say no, and I won't be afraid to say no, I don't want to work with you. I won't be afraid to say I'm not giving this for free, but you can decide on how much value is put into your life. I'm not going to be afraid that people will want to, um, I don't know, stab you and be in the back, I suppose, or, or take everything and give nothing. I, I'm not going to be afraid of that because... I believe that people will behave the way they should behave. And if they don't, my example might help them understand working in a different way. So to all of you out there, and especially to those people that I know personally who listen to me and to those people who follow what I say, I wanted to put into simple terms in simple English how I feel about this gift giving and this equality of opportunity, equality of access. It's not about everybody in the world being equal in terms of their talents, 
because we all have different talents that do different things and create different results. Um, and we shouldn't be afraid that our talent is any different, any less or any better than anybody else's. For me, this is about equality of access and equality of, of opportunity. And that's why I chose to work, work the way I do. And that's why I have less fear and I'm more open to what the universe is saying. So I've passed on the message about fear and I hope you can understand. And again, anybody wants to come back to me and chat about it, all the W's, jumpinthepuddles.org. Anyone who um, wants to comment or disagree, please, you know, if someone wants to disagree with me, please come back and make a comment about it or contact me or anything else. You know where I am. I'm all over the net for some unknown reason. I, I spread my wings without fear over the Internet. And I hope that you all have an absolutely brilliant weekend. I hope that you all live without fear one day at a time. And I hope that you all come to believe that the universe holds your power and you hold the power of the universe. Bye. Ascolto tutto quello che la gente mormora e si trascina verso